Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you the clearance I picked up yesterday. Uh, my daughter and I went out to a few places. I'm going to break this up into two videos. So the first one is the clearance stuff that I found. So this is from Joann's. Um, they had, not my sticker books, obviously. This is <laughs> The majority of the new sticker books that I got, or at the very least, these are most of, if not all, the sticker books that I have shown um, in the last month or so. Um, but what I got, I carefully, carefully tip these, is these Indigo box sets. So you get these sticker storage box like this. These are really heavy. Sorry about the shaking. And then you get this one that has like the wide compartment back here and then two compartments here and one compartment the same size as the two of those over here. Um, so I've got in this one, just for demonstration purposes, I was able to fit Kelova Plan and Live Love Posh stickers, the new big stickers, a couple of regular sticker books all in this back pocket. And these are full, this whole thing is full. And then I've got like the little five page packs and the petite books in the front on this one. So I'm not, I understand why they're clearance after putting them together and trying to use them. Um, I don't really care much about what color they are. I have a bunch of different ones. I've got a couple of those pink floral ones. I've got one like this with the Monstera leaves on it. Um, I've got, uh, what else? Black polka dot ones, black heart ones. I, I've got lots of them. Um, and I have bins for stickers too. Don't ask, there's lots of stickers. Um, so anyway, uh, these are on clearance for $13.47 at my Joann's, and this is not the first Joann's I've seen them clearance, it's the third. And I only have three of them. So, well, no, I have four of them, but one of them I will never go back to again. That's a long story. Um, really just not clean or anything. Um, so 13 something for the three box set, which is usually like 20 something, 30 something dollars. I think the new princess one is like $40 or close to $40. So this was a really good deal considering all the sticker books I just bought and that I need places to put them. So I picked up two for $27. Um, and then I bought something else that you'll see after this. Um, so yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I hate saying, uh, I'm sorry. It's just, these are heavy and I'm trying to figure out where I can put them so that I don't have to stop and start the video just to show you some more things. So we're just gonna move them over to the side and I'm really sorry about the camera shaking. Okay, more clearance. We also went to Walmart and I got a bunch of different stuff at Walmart. Um, so the first thing I got was, you know how much I love my notebooks. They had, and this is everything they had. Sorry, I did clear the box. It, it was a huge box and this is all that was left. Um, they had these little packs of 40 sheets of just lined paper for the mini books. And I have a number of mini notebooks that I like to use, which you, you've seen some of them. Um, so this will be great. The design on the side is not fantastic, but I don't hate it. It's not like some god-awful bright thing. It's not people or stick people, which we know I'm not fond of. Um, so this was a good deal. These were 50 cents in the clearance section at Walmart. It's like with the, the notebooks and stuff because they're clearancing the school stuff now. And they're also clearancing apparently a lot of the journal stuff. I did see in the regular stationery section, they do have two of the Disney sticker books and they had the new mom uh, classic size planner and they had the mini size, that really bright blue planner and they had one more. It was a Mickey one. Um, I honestly don't remember which one, but if you go on walmart.com and look it up, you'll probably see it. But that was just the stuff they had in, in that one Walmart. So I got all these so insanely cheap. I was very, very happy about that. Um, and then, 
Let's see. Let's do Happy Planner stuff first. Because there was a couple other interesting things that I grabbed that were not Happy Planner. I had been talking to Knit Plan Jess in her comments about um, a journal that she had pulled out the same day the Be Happy box was launching. Um, and it was a gratitude journal. And I was like, oh, I must have missed those. So this is a gratitude journal <laughs> right here. Gratitude. Well, it's not really. It's a gratitude guided journal. Um, and I also have a lot of guided journals. So this one is from 2020. So it's last year at some point. Um, the cover is pretty. It had a clearance sticker up here. It was $6. Um, $6. I imagine it, it sold for what one of these things usually go for like $19 or something. Um, so it's got the pretty inside pink and then, you know, the tabs that you can mark up as whatever you want. It did have the happy planner thing in here. I took that out. Uh, there are flowers everywhere for those who want to see them. And then that's really pretty right in there. That's gorgeous. And then, you know, undated weeks, flower border, also very pretty. Uh, week of things I'm loving this week, one area with room for growth, little things that bring me joy, simple ways I can be kinder to others, intention for this week, and then there's another date, and um, what empowered me today, how I helped someone today, today's highlight, today's low moment, daily gratitude, uh, date, feeling, what empowered me today, people make me happy, today's highlight, today's low moment, daily gratitude. So they kind of change up a little bit as you go through, as do there are quotes and different colored florals. And I just think this is really cute. And I love when these things are undated because then I can get to using them whenever I feel like it. Uh, these discs are god awful. <laughs> I really don't like them. So whenever I, I use this, I, I maybe even for storing on my shelf I'll change out the discs I just really uh, they're like mustard yellow uh, if it, that doesn't come through on the screen I'm not sure but they are mustard yellow and I'm I'm not fond um, and then the other thing I got was this sorry about the shaking uh, I need to put like a weight at the back of the table on the camera stand so it stops doing that for you um, all right so this also had Yellow, ugly yellow sticker um, I used undo and it takes all that icky glue right off so happy about that um, so it says go after your dreams which you know that that's gorgeous um, that's really pretty sorry about the glare it's got pretty stars inside this one I left here um, and this is another guided journal but it's called goals so this is it's not about having time it's about making time that's kind of, that, that's a bit much, maybe. It's a little dark. Um, but the pages are cute. Um, and let's face it, with these things, you can really, you can mix and match them into whatever guided journals you want. Um, because the pages tend to, yeah, I don't like the insides of the dividers. The outsides are nice. The insides I'm not so fond of. Um, but the pages are cute. Uh, Doc Grid, this week's goals write a positive quote to follow this week, important due dates this week, three things that can help you achieve your goals, the three role models that inspire you, write about some milestones from this week, and then let's see, what is your main goal for today, today's tasks, write three positive daily reminders to yourself, I think that made you feel, oh, one thing that made you feel hopeful today, what is one lesson that you learned today? There is always room for improvement. List three wins from today. Brag away, babe. Um, so these are cute. You know, it's it just takes you through. Um, you know, if you're building a business or you just start a new job or you're trying to do well at your job or you're trying to save money, learn something new. You know, there's there's a lot of things that you can use this for. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to swap out this cover. <laughs> for a cover I don't like for something else um, until I'm ready to use the, the pages inside because um, I, I think this cover would look nice on, on one of my other projects. Okay, so the other clearance items that I got at Walmart, they have stickers. I had no idea. Now, they're not 
Happy Planner quality stickers. They're not Kelova Planner, Live Love Posh, or even JoJo's quality stickers. Um, these are, you know, I mean, honestly, you, you probably get stickers just as good, maybe a little bit better uh, on Etsy. So there's four sheets in here. I got this for 25 cents and you get two sheets of each one. So this is what the first two sheets look like. I mean, they're cute, they're useful. You can blend them in with other stuff. These boxes are kind of small. Um, there's numbered lists, but they're not, this is not a whole sticker. The numbers come out. So you don't actually get, I mean, I suppose you could cut out and then like this would be blank inside that might be an idea the envelopes are cute i like the the patterns here they're cute these boxes are just they're very small um and then there's these little bit better boxes cute you know it's just it's cute um and then this is the the outside packaging on the back with the thing and then this one, so it's called Pen Plus Gear 2020, Walmart Inc. Pen Plus Gear is a trademark of Walmart Inc. All rights reserved. So this is Walmart is making stickers. Um, never in a million years, but I think Walmart was making stickers. So then two sticker books, 50 cents each, 900 stickers, 700 stickers. All the stickers in here are not great, but some are kind of cool. So let's see if I can find the kind of cool ones. Uh, let's see, let's make sure. I believe this is in the shot. I'm trying to figure out how I can shoot this and like see it somewhere off to the side so that I can stop saying, I hope this is in the shot and I can just see whether or not it's in the shot, but I don't know how to set that up. So if anyone who watches this happens to be like a tech or video geek, could you message me on Instagram and help me out <laughs> because I would really like to stop saying that for you guys. All right, so these are really tiny check boxes. These, you would need like three or four of these to fill up a classic. But I mean, I suppose if you layered them with stuff and you write really small, these are decent sized quarter boxes though. And those are kind of cute. Better sized boxes, cute little banners, little flower stickers, checklists that, I think these are actual, yeah, these are actual checklists instead of the insides popping out. Um, so those are cute. Make today amazing. I like that. Um, these are feathers, little flags. Well, actually they're kind of little bigger flags. Hexagons, months in different colors, triangles. Remember today's goal, important. And these are decent sized stickers. Like these are not small like you know th these are a decent size so considering how cheap i got them you know it might be fun just to to make a spread just to see what can you do with these um so here's some more little flags exclamation points to do i don't know what this means like i'm not crazy right it says this they say this i, I don't I don't understand the purpose of that one, but all right. Vacation, date night, me time, haircut, volunteer, meeting, anniversary, birthday. This is, okay. This is what I thought was really cool. These are huge checklist boxes. This is like, I think this will fit in a big size planner box. I think we're gonna use one of these in my next spread just to see if I'm right. And these, they're narrow, but these are really long sidebars. And in case you've been watching, so yeah, these are really cool. I like them. I think, you know, probably classic size. Maybe I could put these in a big too, but those are nice. Habit trackers. For... an entire week. So you could stick this on your sidebar for the week and track instead of putting in a habit tracker for every day, which sometimes I will do, um, or have, you know, you could even 
put something else over these and have seven habit trackers on your page for seven different things. These are okay. They're kind of cute. Um, little icons, uh, flags, splotchy. I don't know what those are. Decent sized circles with quotes, words, or pictures. Some of these look kind of familiar. Uh, colored words. Definitely won't be using the yellow ones, but the blue, probably in the pink, maybe. Days of the week, due today. Uh, half circled, half design, half white. And then decorative circles flowers and leaves. Those are kind of cute. It's little doodly type things like this. More little doodly things. Bunch of icons, coffee, birthday cakes, electric bill, usual kind of stuff. Decorative hearts. Those are cute. And little boxes and little washi strips. Looks like there's two strips per design based on the cuts or is that four let's see no it's two they're very thin which is fine okay those are kind of i like the dot ones um and then these are little boxes uh these are these are cute i would use those i would definitely use these i don't know about the flower or the feathers maybe um, okay, except, so, more yellow, why? Um, <laughs> the rest of those are cute. Circles and triangles. Bullets, I guess. Um, interesting. Uh, okay, so, a whole bunch of green that says checklist, and then you've got little three-space checklists and a couple of colors, numbers and dots slightly bigger little, I guess these are supposed to look like old-fashioned picture frames or something. Um, they're kind of cute. Banners with words. Love yourself. Live today. Uh, let's see. Someday this month, next week, this week, tomorrow. So I guess that's for goals or to-dos or something like that. So that was pretty good. And then there's this one. These were the only ones that they had. If they had more, I probably would have, like, more variations. I would have grabbed them. Um, so these are washi strips. And then we've got, let's see, uh, days of the week. But it's just the first letter. Cute little blocks. And let's see. We've got, what is this? Okay, so we've got half boxes in various designs. That's kind of confusing. Uh, months in two different colors and foil flags. You would need a Sharpie to write on those because they're foil. Checks, X's. Here, 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 here. These all say look, these all say now. Uh, numbers, and then plus signs, equal signs, minus signs, brackets, and quotes. Okay, I suppose if you wanted to do math and stickers, um, that's interesting. Alright, so now we've got more of these big boxes that I'm really, I'm interested to see which size planner these fit perfectly in because it's got to be one of them. Um, and now we've got bigger decorative boxes with like the bubbles you can just like cut that off and and layer something to so people don't see it and then you could still use those um tiny checklists little flags date gym time day off free time me time payday no 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 uh let's see more flags deadline free time schedule date and then these are all it's like the design, all right, except for, I don't know, they kind of sort of match. <laughs> More boxes. These are not as big as the other boxes, um, but they are decent sized squares. 
and now we've got multicolored rainbows and punctuation marks circles I'll give these to my niece I don't think I would use those for anything little little boxes busy meeting free I mean I suppose if you have like a small grid or something where you plan out your day hourly or something those might be good uh, more stickers, wine glasses, envelopes, birthday cakes, smiley and frowny faces, dollar signs, exclamation points, shopping carts, palm trees, alarm clocks. So some of these are good and some of these are not so good. This is the smaller book. If you see this one with the dots and the, the foil, this, the 900 one, this one has better stuff. Um... Okay, and then there was one other thing I got on clearance at Walmart. And this is weird, and it's not Happy Planner either. Um, and this is that Walmart Pen Plus Gear, or Pen and Gear plan. Okay, so the cover is a bit much, right? <laughs> and wait, 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 the inside is that mustard yellow. Oh my god. So horrible. But check out the inside. Black. Dotted lined paper so I'm thinking I'm taking this apart and I'm punching these pages and I'm gonna have some fun with doing blackout something with these or just writing I might get some of those acrylograph pens and just write on these um, if any of you have black paper that you put in your planners let me know what you do with it uh, down in the comments but that's that's kind of my base plan this is some kind of pleather cover with cardboard in it it is stitched around the edges and then it's got some kind of stitched or or metal or something holding this stuff together because you can see it poking through um but yeah but i i this is ugly but when i saw the black paper i was like oh yeah that's going home with me this was five dollars um, yellow stickered. So, all right. So that's all the clearance that I got. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps me out. Um, I currently have 338 subscribers, I think. Um, at the time I'm filming it, I have 338 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers so that I can have use of the community tab and post pictures of new stuff like clearance finds and stuff when I find them so that you guys can go get them you know if you want to and if they're available um, so if you enjoy the videos and you've been stopping by to watch them you consider subscribing there should be a button in the lower corner but I noticed this morning there was a problem and it wasn't showing up so it may or may not be there but there will be an end card just click on my ugly mug and it will take you to uh, subscribe um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.